Christopher Robin is a delightful little film. Like a majority of people, I grew up watching Disney's classic Winnie the Pooh shorts based on the books by A.A. A. Milne. I fell in love with the characters, I loved the simple philosophies they believed in, and the atmosphere and tone had this endearingly timeless quality to it. So the announcement of Disney making a live-action version just made me think that they were running out of ideas for films to make live-action remakes of. Then Dumbo and The Lion King were announced, and that immediately changed my mind. Once the trailers were released, I got a little more interested, and, like most people, I assumed that the movie was basically gonna be Hook, but with a Winnie the Pooh theme. And that's pretty much what you get, but it's a little more than that. Christopher Robin focuses on... Well, Christopher Robin, as he grows up into Beauty and the Beast remake survivor, Ewan McGregor. Hello there. While as a kid he lets his imagination run wild with his friends in the Hundred Acre Wood, as an adult he's let those memories go and is now more worried about keeping a stable job and keeping his wife and daughter happy. But he can't seem to figure out which is more important, so Pooh and the gang come in to help him find the solution. It's a very simple story, and while it doesn't have a clear bad guy or any large or epic scale to it, what it manages to do is almost perfectly capture the charm and wit of the original films. One of my favorite lines in the movie is when Pooh says, I always get to where I need to go by walking away from where I've been. It's so simple and yet so profound. That's pretty much Winnie the Pooh in a nutshell. And it's always great to hear Jim Cummings as the voice of Pooh and Tigger. This time around, he's joined by Toby Jones as Owl, Brad Garrett as Eeyore, and Peter Capaldi as Rabbit? I <laughs> haven't seen casting this excellent since... Ooh, that's gonna be good. I really appreciate how this movie was made, and the marketing especially is actually kind of brilliant. The whole film is about Christopher Robin remembering how much the characters meant to him when he was a child, and the trailers seem to have that same effect on us. We all grew up loving Winnie the Pooh, but at some point we kind of forgot how much we loved it. So for a movie like this to come along, it's as if we're going on the same journey as Christopher, and it's a journey filled with emotion, sincerity, humor, joy, and imagination. This is the best possible way a live-action Winnie the Pooh movie could have been done. By Disney, I mean. Christopher Robin is a film that delivers on that timeless Disney magic that I've found some of their more recent films have been lacking in, and while not entirely original, it's refreshing to see a movie tell a story with so much passion and heart at the center. It won't put you on the edge of your seat, or really excite you in the way that most other summer movies would, but if you're a fan of the classic Winnie the Pooh stories, and particularly the Disney films, this movie is sure to bring a smile to your face. So, would I recommend you go see Christopher Robin? Mmm... sure. It might not be the greatest movie in the world, but kids and adults can find something to appreciate it for. Like always, I don't know how to end this video, so I'm just gonna cut to a clip of Brian Hall doing a Winnie the Pooh impression. Just uh, resting and thinking and um, humming to myself. <laughs> oh, I love that man. He's just too pure for this world.